Hello, hi, uh, this is Shorodeep here. Uh, sorry, there was a delay because uh, it was uh, actually a holiday in uh, uh, present today. So uh, to start the webinar, uh, it took a little bit of time. So happy new year to all of you. How was the last week for all of you? Great, great. Uh, see, uh, today's session, we will keep it brief because what happens is that for last seven days of, uh, that is post 25th to 1st, what happens is that the market is less participated because uh, foreign participants are not there. And uh, at the same time, uh, the next three, four days, anything cannot be very properly uh, 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 given or forecasted from this week's price action because what can happen is that when FIIs come back, they will take it from here. Okay, so still I will give you a brief uh, view uh, of uh, what I see in Nifty and Bank Nifty and maybe one or two sectors briefly. Before that, uh, again, uh, all are uh, joining in a very happy new year to all of you. Now, see, I'm not going into deep of it and depth of it this is uh, the wave count and uh, there is a clear almost clear wave count of from uh, zero to one then two then three then four has happened now four can ha happen in a two way like here it first happened then it was a pullback and then another pullback happened so four can be a pullback now what we can see is that this was the candle of 24th december Normally, FIIs are in the market till 24 December, and uh, after that, the market has been slowly, slowly moving up 20 points, 40 points, 50 points every day. Uh, uh, one day was 100 point, obviously. So, generally, what I have seen in other years is that when the FIIs uh, come back to the Indian market, the first thing they do is that whatever the price movement that has been either on the upside or the downside. Uh, during their absence, that is in the five days of trading, they generally push it back to the levels where they live. So I see that there is a very good probability that the market may fall towards uh, this region of 13,770-760 and below that there is a support around uh, 13,650. 13, so, uh, be this pullback may happen like most years they happen but this year the liquidity flow is high and today gst collection was all time high the commercial vehicle sales of uh, uh, ashok leland was uh, very good so based on this if there is no correction then probably nifty is uh, heading and if there is a correction also then also if uh, uh, these levels are defended, like 13,100 kind of levels are defended. Nifty probably is going uh, towards this zone. And now, uh, what happens is that fifth wave is uh, fifth wave target is calculated by projecting zero to third the length and from the end of fourth. And uh, generally, uh, 0.3822.618 uh, is in this zone. So 14,280 uh, 14, to uh, 15,000 in, in this zone. Uh, Nifty for this round of up move should uh, top out, okay, uh, or may top out. It can go over that also, but uh, there is a probability that uh, given the money flow, uh, Nifty may, Nifty, in, there is a good possibility Nifty may reach this region, okay. Now, uh, before that a correction can set in as i say that every year it happens that where they have left that is this level uh, that level is actually revisited and then it goes up now uh, let me uh, show you the same scenario from the bank nifty so you can see the bank nifty they had left around 30900 and it is uh, just 300 point above that back to key was underperforming this week so uh, they had left it here uh, or here rather 13600 
so from that it has gone a 600 points so there can be one or two monday tuesday wednesday any day can be a big day when it can pull back to the levels where it left so be aware of that or uh, because the liquidity this year due to pandemic uh, the central bank uh, printing is high it can go up there is the visible rsi divergence and this divergence is not for today it is for long see uh, so divergence doesn't mean that immediately there will be a uh, fall you can see uh, from 27000 back to today there is a divergence so this divergence can continue and the bank nifty can still move higher so again if it goes up 30 3000 to 35500 this is the wide range in which it can top out for the moment so have an eye on it uh, for the sectors i will say that this week uh, if i say so out of all these sectors nifty it i will right now go to the weekly chart mm. yeah so you can see nifty it continued and as i said that 25500 25 this is the level so i had drawn it last day only 26000 it can go so still quite a bit of juice may be left for the it uh, so it indices so as i said that it will keep on going up uh, nifty realty and nifty bank uh, looks good at this moment so nifty realty uh nifty realty is another index and probably it is going towards 332 which is again 56% higher every week it is going up uh last week we talked about nifty it specially and nifty it has gone up other uh, out of other indices nifty bank uh, nifty bank nifty bank yeah nifty bank is like this uh, so it is probably uh, trending towards up first 32600 and probably uh, it can go up higher and the nifty uh, auto so uh, these indices are trying to move up but still it is not that bullish like uh, nifty bank and uh, nifty realty and nifty it so still i am saying that it is very difficult uh, to based on this week's price action uh, to predict next week because once if i has come back they will take it as fresh so i am not giving you stock specific much idea except of nifty it because the results season will be kicked off by uh, nifty it stock so tcs you can see that uh, moving up and possibly for more lti uh, larsen and tobro infotech looking good to me can move up more weekly chart we are looking at uh, another stock is uh, take mahindra A perpetual up move it is happening in this stock uh, moving up up and possibly will go more and uh, another stock is uh, infi infi is doing good like infi and uh, uh, tcs are leaders there infi so infi is doing good infi points for more and uh, another stock is info edge so info edge so possibly it will also go up and uh, last stock is acl tech i would like to show you acl tech and mind tree this is to stop so looking bullish uh, probably uh, good for more and uh, mind tree mind tree mm, yeah so you can see that these are weekly charts but they are like looking for more but again i would like to extra bullet this week's price action but as it is already on the upside so i am just discuss this stock but otherwise i won't like to give much more details like we give about other stocks i won't like to give uh, at this point of time because Uh, because once if i come back they have the next week's price action it will be better 
that we take a call try to trade relatively less quantity next week because next week once the fii come back if i come back there can be a volatile price action and normally when people start trading on the first week of the month you know uh, first week of january is holiday in china and uh, there the new year holiday uh, extend for 7 8 days so there is a lot of uh, lot of uh, holidays and today uh, is holiday in most of the global markets okay so uh, try to be on the safer side one stock i just wanted to show you because it, it, it because today the data was also so good and uh, ashok leland if you see uh, possibly the way it is moving possibly uh, it will reach this level and today the data supports so if it sustain above 102 kind of a level it can really go upwards in a fast because today's data was uh, very good and uh, if it is going upwards what can be the level one should uh, should we look at for that so this level So 61.8 percent pullback. So 116. So if you see a short level and sustaining above 102, uh, it may very quickly go towards uh, this 116 within one or two weeks. So keep an eye. So only this stock because the data came in today. I'm just showing you other stocks. I'm just trying to avoid today because next week, the beginning of the year, uh, can be a little bit volatile once the price come back. those who are in tmp they know that i will keep on giving them uh, the ideas about the kind of sessions uh, the kind of uh, movement uh, or where from where the market has to uh, uh, be monitored so i uh, or the way from where we can take short, long or short in stock that i will tell because when the if i i coming back volatility is at top then there are good trading opportunities so that there i will provide those things those who are clubs also our team will provide uh, their understanding and uh, their stocks in the stock ideas so they can also look it there so uh, only thing is that don't ask so many questions which are futuristic at this point because there is no point answering this because uh, this week's price action based on that it is not an ideal thing to predict next week's price action because this was uh, the period when fis are in holidays so we will now uh, take a few of uh, interact a little bit with you nifty pharma is not looking very bullish right now uh, so i have looked at all the indices so nifty pharma is not looking very bullish right now so so out of all the indices i would i, would, I can show you nifty pharma chart it was a kind of a hang, hanging man kind of a pattern it was formed and it is not looking great uh, so the weekly chart you can see it is a clear hanging man so it can move up but uh, from this uh, uh, this uh, week's price action is difficult to so no stock wise i won't go this this this, this week especially stock wise i won't go so i will uh, not give many trades in the tmp until unless uh, that initial there is a uh, increased volatility in the market once the fi is come back so till and that will be reflected in the price action so uh, until that is over i won't give many trades to the my tmp members so i won't give many trades so because when they come back uh, they will come with the third either side there will be a big volatility day we will trade after that only because there is no point actually uh, getting uh, chopped off in both the direction once that direction is over price will come to a suitable level and from there i will give ramesh ji this week is a not an ideal week week because i i look at uh, the all the important stocks every week i don't want to do that because it is not fair to draw a conclusion uh, from that uh, it is not fair to draw a conclusion from that so won't be interested because market won't behave according to the continuity of the chart there will be a disruption when the fi is come back 
every year this happens yeah please go ahead any any more questions you have so i can see there are no more questions so then uh, thanks all that you joined today have a great uh, uh, great uh, year ahead make a lot of money first week try to trade very less so if you are trading suppose 100 uh, 1 10 lakh rupees is your uh, order size or 5 lakh rupees trade only 30% of that trade only 30% of that for the first week then actually scale up that is how professional traders do first week you should have five trading big amount okay okay thanks and look for uh, a possible down move that may be coming because of uh, this uh, Uh, that if i generally have a tendency to push to, uh, price to the levels where uh, they give up so uh, where they left so what i was uh, telling in the case of nifty look for a, if there is a kind of a pull back towards a 30750 30, 13800 level in this week so this week what happened is that will be totally given up possibly okay so i'm showing you in the daily chart again so possibly this up move can be given and a little bit more towards mid bottom so possibly that will be a great level to buy in yeah thank you have a great week ahead we will meet again on next friday thank you very much bye